everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so look, I've been asked often, as I'm sure many of you have, why do you stack physical silver, especially with the volatile nature of it? Prices up, prices down. Sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't. You know, it's just the volatile nature of stacking physical silver. Why do we do it? Well, I put together a sort of montage of my shorts that I posted on vid on YouTube. Many of you have probably seen them. But this is a montage and it sums up in a nutshell why I stack physical silver and many of the viewers and people who um, visit YouTube stacking community stack physical silver. And so I hope you enjoy that. I have a little bit of an explanation I have to do real quick. Uh, I'm working on a project for the silver stacking community for my channel. It's sort of a documentary type project and I think you guys are gonna find it very interesting, very informative. It's taking a lot of my time, a lot of effort. I've created a monster. <laughs> it's kind of getting a little bit out of hand but I've got it back into some type of workable order. So that is what I've been working on. So hopefully here in the very near future, I'll be able to post that video for you guys. But in the meantime, enjoy this kind of montage of why many of us stack physical silver. is one kilo of three nines fine silver. This is 85 ounces of three nines fine silver. And this is good old fashioned American currency, fiat currency to be more precise. So which one of these is real money? <laughs> well, all three are real money, but one is a promise and one is the promise kept. You need this if you want to protect this if you want to continue to enjoy financial health you need this so when you earn this you need to protect it with this <laughs> it's really very simple i'll show you how all right is physical silver a hedge against inflation well let me ask you is this stuff is cash a hedge against inflation now look, cash, this stuff is what I use as a tool to build and maintain my foundation of silver, which I feel is a essential part of my financial health. Now see this? This right here has a face value of $5. And according to the inflation calculator, it's worth about $4.28 of buying power. Now look, I bought this coin here in 2016 when spot price was $18.50. I spent $22.50 for this coin. That's like $3 over spot. Now I could sell this coin right here for well over $40. Now listen, <laughs> is that a hedge against inflation? Well, you do the math. <laughs> Let the comments begin. Keep stacking. All right, I'm about to show you something amazing about silver. $100 in the year 2000, if you had just socked it away, would be worth about $75, give or take, today. Now, if you'd taken that same $100 bill in the year 2000 and bought physical silver, you could have bought 19 ounces of physical silver. So that $75 of buying power you get from that $100 bill from the year 2000 would have been worth $418 worth of buying power today. That if you sold that physical silver at spot price. Think about that. $100 by itself, $75. Loses value. $100 worth of silver, $418. Gains value. Still think silver is just for solar panels? <laughs> All right, let me make a quick point. Right now, silver is $20.86 spot price. About 30 days ago at this time, it was around $23.95. So if you bought silver last month at $23.95, did you lose $3.09? Well, here's my point. Only if you sell your silver. The only way you lose value in your silver is if you sell it for a price lower than what you paid for it. Now, here's the beauty of being a long-term stacker. You get to pick and choose when you sell your physical silver under normal circumstances. There's silver that I have in my stack that if I sold right now, I would be ahead. 
I would make more than it cost me to buy it when I bought it. So the only time you lose value in your physical silver is if you sell for a lower price than what you paid. So be a long-term stacker and keep stacking. Peace. Hey everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so this is $1,000 in cash. This is also $1,000 in cash. Okay, so I've been saving this up for the past few months so that I can take this fiat currency down to my local coin store and turn it into real money, which is physical silver. And since YouTube only allows me one minute for these shorts here, if you come over to my channel, I'll show you exactly how the process worked of me turning this $2,000 in physical cash into $2,000 of physical silver, which is real money. So if you're interested in how that process worked and how much silver I was able to buy with $2,000 in cash, come on over to my channel and I'll show you. So I walked in with $2,000. And so I bought, I managed to get 74 ounces. I got 70, I got 64 ounces of generic rounds, 64 generic rounds, one ounce rounds, and I bought this 10 ounce bar that you're seeing here. So I walked out the store with 74 ounces, took $2,000 into the store, walked out with 74 ounces. And if you do the math, that was right about $2 over spot. <laughs> I know a lot of you are probably asking, Silver Joker, why are you showing cash with your silver bullion? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm illustrating the point that cash is important as well. You know, until Walmart starts accepting physical bullion, we need cash. But here's the thing. You can always get cash with your bullion, but you may not always be able to get bullion with your cash. So get that bullion, stack that bullion to the roof and get that cash. Because right now, as far as currencies go, the dollar is king and you need those dollars to get bullion. So I don't let my cash sit for too long. You know, I make it work for me because around every bill, I see a silver lining. <laughs> Keep stacking. All right, now here's a question that's been on a lot of people's minds lately. And that question is, is my money safe in my bank? But that's really not the question, is it? The real question is, will I have access to my money in the bank? And the fact that that's become a concern is telling. Now look, there is a way you can feel a lot more secure about your hard earned wealth and your ability to access it when you need it. And that solution is right here. You're looking at it. Now I'm not suggesting that you take your money out of the bank and put it in physical silver, buy physical silver with it. But if the time ever comes when you don't have access to the funds you have in your bank, it'd be nice to have something to fall back on, something you can use that's outside of the banking system to get the things that you need. <laughs> anyway, that's just my opinion. Keep stacking. Peace. This is what a prominent physical bullion dealer had to say about physical silver's value, price, and premiums. <laughs> it's gonna surprise you. So, uh, yeah, we have kind of jumped away from spot price being the valuation of how we look at physical silver now. I agree. And like I say, always deal with somebody that's, if they're selling at a premium, they should be buying at a premium. It, it, it doesn't work both ways or shouldn't work both ways where somebody comes in with, you know, a bar of silver and um, their ex the expectation is that they only get spot price for it. But when you go to buy it, you got to pay five or six dollars over spot price to get it. Well, that should not, that shouldn't conflict with the fact that dealers should be paying to get silver and typically they are. To get silver, they should be paying a premium to get it if they're charging a premium to sell it. If you want to start building your own silver stack to protect your hard earned wealth, well, there's no better time than right now. All right, a short commentary about this stuff here. It's called constitutional silver, 90% silver, but mostly it's referred to as junk silver. And it has exploded in popularity in just the past few years. And from what I understand, it's getting harder and harder to find in a lot of places. Now look, we are geared to accept this stuff right here as money. I mean, we've been doing it for hundreds of years. And because it's 90% silver, it is real money. 
Now, if there ever should come a time when our current currency is no longer any good, you can rest assured this stuff will be. You'll be able to use this to get the things you need because it is real money. Now, if you come over to my channel, I'll tell you why. <laughs> Keep stacking. All right, so what you're looking at here is an 84.77 ounce, three nines fine poured silver bar. Now it was produced probably around the late 70s, early 80s by the Cincinnati Gold and Silver Refining Company. It is a tier one silver bar, which means it's extremely rare. And to my knowledge, this serialized silver bar with this particular weight produced by the Cincinnati Gold and Silver Refining Company is the only one still in existence. Now look, I know this subject is not for everyone who tunes in to watch my video. So if you want to see more about this particular bar, I posted a video of me acquiring this bar at my local coin store. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check that out. You know, buying physical silver is important for your financial health, but it doesn't always have to be strictly business. <laughs> I hope this video today was helpful to you in some way. The silver train is rolling. All you need is to show up and you got a ticket to ride. Anyway, more good content coming up. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.